Hi, I'm Kyle Gass. And I'm Jack Black. We are Tenacious D, and we're going undercover on the internet because this is actually me. We. Tenacious D. Reddit. First question. What is the most Tenacious D song the D has to offer? You know, like what song comes to mind when you hear Tenacious D? Well, I think this is easy. It's so easy, it's and so it's obviously easy. the first song we ever wrote, Tribute. It encapsulates what we're all about. Yeah. There's a, there's a little bit of Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a little bit of um, Devil Went Down to Georgia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there's that old parable, the, the Robert Jansen, where you go down and you meet the devil and you challenge him <laughs> to a battle. It really set us on our course. And, you know, it's about being the greatest band in the world in our own minds and and therefore uh, opening the keys to the universe. If you believe in yourself and your dreams, <laughs> reach for the stars, but keep your feet on the ground. Yahoo Answers. It's actually me. It's actually we. What does Tenacious D mean? I'm a fan of the band, and I was wondering, what does the name of the band mean, and is there any background meaning? Well, it was taken from a sporting term initially, Tenacious Defense. But over the years and decades, it's taken on so many meanings. Tenacious um, Dormitory, <laughs> uh, Tenacious Dumbass, Tenacious Domicile. It's a dumb name for a band, <laughs> but we're stuck with it, because how are you going to change the band now? That'd be like changing your name from the police uh, to like Sting. Yeah. It doesn't work. Next. Zoinks. What's a cool gamer tag for Xbox that has to do with Tenacious D and the Pike of Destiny? Master Exploder. Max, Master. Master Exploder is probably taken, so I go Master Exploder 5000. Yeah. Or Master Exploder 666, as many sixes as you need until it's not taken. Submit. Quora. Seriously, it's me. What is the best way for me to acquire backstage tickets to a Tenacious D concert? Well, in the old days, of course, you'd have to give us a, a compliment. But nowadays... First of all, there's no backstage tickets. We've got very strict no one backstage rules. We need to focus and concentrate. After show passes are sometimes available to uh, friends and family. Oh, that's, a, that's a hot potato. Too hot now. I have nothing to do with any no, of that. No, neither do I. Posted. Who are the musicians? who recorded the Tenacious D album, The Pick of Destiny. Well, that's not off to ask. Well, aside from me and Kyle, obviously we play our own instruments, <laughs> but uh, we had an all-star cast. We had Meatloaf singing a song. We had Ronnie James Dio. Mm. We had Dave Grohl on the drums, playing, also playing Satan. Satan, yeah. We had uh, Sasquatch. Which is not an easy get, just want to let you know. John Kaneski on electric guitar, John Spiker on bass, and I know, that's it. Yeah, that's it. You might have that dude from Fish playing a couple keys. Huh? Paige McConnell from Paige Fish McConnell. is, yeah, yeah, jumped in. Sorry, GQ. Kyle's new to this sort of thing. Tribute by Tenacious D is a tribute to what song? So me and my friend are arguing over if this song is dedicated to one by Metallica or Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Look, they, they, they're wrong. Both of them are wrong. They, I mean, we had influence. Obviously, there's influence from Zeppelin because we use some of their chords. Not enough to sue us. <laughs> uh, and also, there's influence of, of Metallica 1 because we were listening to that at the time of the recording of the original version of this song. But neither of them are what we're referencing when we sing about this is a tribute we can't remember what the original song was. That's the whole point. We can't remember what that song was that we beat the devil with. We didn't beat him with a cover. We came up with a new song. We wrote a song on the spot, improvisational, to beat the devil. And it was the greatest song in that moment. We can't remember it. That's the point of the song. Am I right? Yeah, that's I got, it. I got yeah. my bad. It's actually me! In the Tenacious D song, Kito Bassa, the lyrics include the line, Dianetics Jr., much better than Krishna. What is Dianetics Jr., and why is it better than Krishna? Well, Dianetics Jr. is an offshoot of Scientology that focused more on the Dianetics book. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a combination of Dianetics and Dinosaur Jr., which uh, uh, is one of the greatest 1990s uh, alt-rock bands. When you put those two together, it's like the best motherfucking religion. It's better than <laughs> Krishna, uh, which is also very high on the list of greatest uh, airport dancing bands. Blast that! What is the origin of the idiom face melting? There was a guitar tech guy at Guitar Center 
He's just, just like a stoner for up north, and he's like, oh man, you guys gotta, you, oh, you, you would not believe because I saw Yes back in 79. The face melter. <laughs> and I took it and I stole it, and I, I ran with that straight to the yeah. bank. Always have your eyes and ears open for gold and fortune nuggets of wisdom. Twitter. Why did Tenacious D make a heavy metal band with acoustic guitars? Well, Kyle taught me the ways. It, it's similar to the way that a kung fu master teaches a disciple uh, on the acoustic guitar because it is the purest form of guitaring. We're deadly, more powerful, more hard rock than any electric guitar could ever be. I don't know why I had to put so much smarmy sauce on it, but <laughs> it, it's true. Uh, look, right at the At Jack Black, Goosebumps 2? Dude, I can't wait. Also, another possible Tenacious D movie? Is it true? <laughs> uh, Goosebumps 2 is happening. Uh, as far as I know, I'm not part of the marketing. I don't know if I'm in the poster or in the movie at all. And also another possible Tenacious D movie? It is true. Oh yeah. It's an animated masterpiece that we did everything on. We wrote it, directed it. We wrote, we did the cartoons. We yeah. did the, the music. We did, we did all the voices. And so, in a way, this is more our baby than anything we've ever done, including Pick of Destiny. It's actually pure. This yeah. is actually fucking pure. Mm -hmm. D. D. And enter. Wikipedia. Jack Black and Kyle Gass, so far, perfect. True. Initially met in Los Angeles, true. In 85, not true. Wait a second, wait a second. I was a senior in high school when I first met you. You don't remember because you were in love with a woman at the time and you were singing to her. But I was there in the room with you, and I believe that was 1986. <laughs> but close, close, 1986. Close. Black admits the duo did not see eye to eye due to animosity between the two, as Gas was the main musician for the actor's gang and felt threatened by Black. I think that's all true. I think that's all true. <laughs> the actor's gang traveled to Edinburgh, Scotland for the Edinburgh Fringe Festival in 1989. True. The two became friends during the trip and eventually became best friends, with Black regularly visiting Gas's Cochrane Avenue studio apartment <laughs> in the deal that Gas would teach Black to play guitar in return for food, <laughs> mainly from fast food chain Jack in the Box. <laughs> and gotta say, every word of that whole thing is true. <laughs> We called it Jack and the Crack back in the day, and uh, our go-to was the the two tacos for a yeah. dollar. Yeah, I mean we were to... one dollar for two delicious. Tacos. We were on, we were on a budget then. But if we really wanted to splurge, we'd go with the monster tacos <laughs> that included a little extra lettuce and salsa. But the jury was out if they were actually better. Dude, I don't think we should eat those artery cloggers anymore. Those no. days are gone. We're no longer young bucks chowing down. IMDb. It says here that I was born July 14th, Bastille Day, in 1960, in Walnut Creek, California, USA. Well, that's obviously incorrect. I think it was 70. Cal that. There's nothing to be ashamed of there. Not what? ashamed. Well, you're, you're ashamed of being born in 1960. It's like one of the best years to be born. We're both children of the 60s, after all. That's Cage right. born in 1960, me born in 69, motherfucker. Nothing wrong with that. Birth name, Kyle Richard Gass, that's correct. Nicknames, a lot of nicknames. Cage, KG, Rage, Clip Calhoun, but none of those are what Jack calls me. I call I call you a combo, Rage Cage, Rage Cage. or Raj Kaj, mm -hmm. spelled with J's. My height is 5'9", 1.75 meters. It's funny that you say your height, because I think it's height. Okay, my IMDB trademarks starts speaking in a slow, quiet tempo and begins to sing in a faster, louder cadence! I, that's not me, I don't do that. I just did it right now, and it didn't feel right. Often plays slackers or sloppy infants. <laughs> they couldn't even hear because you were laughing so hard. I don't know what the fuck that means. Sloppy, like, child boy men? Not just I guess it's true. It's true. Expressive eyes, eyebrows. Oh, well, that's fucking absolutely true. Stocky frame. Duh. Batting a thousand on IMDb. <laughs> fucking assholes. YouTube. I got like a Twinsky. Oh, a Twinsky, that's cool. Is that Val Kilmer in the background at the end of the roadie video? Oh, yeah. Fuck it yeah, is. it is. Val Kilmer, a great friend to the D, threw down some tasty ass cameos and more for the D over the years. Uh, my favorite, to be the best. 
to be the best. Yeah. Dude, he really threw down some sausage, oh, yeah. saucy, it was classic. tasty classic uh, acting filming. morsels for us, and we love him deeply. Well, that was great. I'm glad that we had a chance to clear up some of that stuff. We really answered a lot of great questions with great, great answers. Yeah, thanks for those great questions. Anyway, that's me and KG, Tenacious D, over and out. Slam that shit shut, Cage. Mm -hmm.